Uh, Mr. Nagabar uh, for five minutes. Thank you. Uh, Secretary Vilsack, it's good to have you here, and I appreciate you uh, coming back again to speak to our committee. And I would, I would say this from my perspective, in, from my congressional district, your, your uh, remarks about the state of the rural economy are a little bit overstated in the sense that uh, we don't feel that same uh, situation in West Texas. I, I want to associate myself and have associated myself with uh, the chairman on the issue of the uh, cottonseed oil. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to go back to is in a letter, uh, I think you know you alluded to it, a hundred of us sent you a letter back in December and we encouraged the USDA to take any p policy actions that could have a stabilizing effect on the U.S. cotton industry. And I think on uh, February 11th, you uh, testified before the uh, Appropriations Committee that uh, the, uh, you mentioned the possibility of providing some assistance to help with cotton ginning. Where are we on that? Well, if it's uh, something the industry is interested in having us pursue, um, and if something it's that uh, members of Congress want us to look at, we would establish a cost share program um, uh, we would have a discussion, obviously, about the percentage of the cost share. Uh, in my discussions with some members of Congress, we suggested a 50 percent cost share, which would be about $150 million. It, it, it could be more than that. Uh, and we would establish and go to OMB for permission and authority to get this set up, and we would try to get it set up as quickly as possible and provide resources uh, to, to the gins or to the producers, depending upon how we need to structure it in a way that, don't, that does not create uh, any kind of uh, trade implications that would be negative to the industry. What 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 what's keeping us from? Uh, we've if, received indications uh, from some folks that uh, it's not something that the industry wanted us to do at this point in time. But if it if they do, uh, and you're telling me they do, then we'll be happy to go back and start that process. Yeah. Well, I think there's a little bit of misunderstanding on that. I think one of the things that some people thought you were talking about that. I mean, obviously they were promoting the oil, cottonseed oil issue, they thought you were trying to substitute that. I think what, where we are, I, and, I hope, and I hope you understand that in cotton country, we have a, it's, it's, it's a severe issue. I mean, we, we have producers now that are not talking about whether how much of their equity they're willing to, to, to put into the next crop. I mean, we have producers that are sitting down with their bankers right now, and, and the question whether not whether they're going to get to, to uh, plant a crop, it's whether they're going to get continue to farm. And so, I, th I think what those hundred of us wrote you a letter, I think we were trying to paint a picture that we, we need to, for you to do, use every tool that's available to you as the Secretary of Agriculture to to do that. And so I, 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 my feedback from the industry is, is if that's one of the tools in the toolbox, let's, let's, get, let's get that tool out of the box, but let's, we're not necessarily giving up on you uh, sitting down at the table and discussing other other tools that we might be able to do because this, it is a, is a very serious issue for the cotton industry. We're, we're happy to do this. It's also the reason why we uh, allowed for certificates to be uh, used in lieu of the of the cotton as collateral for our, our, our loans, our marketing loans. We, we did do that. That's uh, going to provide some small uh, bit of relief, but we'll be happy to go back and start that process now. It would be helpful if we could get an indication from the industry uh, precisely what they uh, what they think in terms of the the technique and the technology or the uh, the uh, the details of how this would work on the ginning so that the so that we would be assured that we get as much help to producers as we possibly could uh, that would be helpful we have not received that kind of feedback but we're more than happy to sit down with the industry tomorrow to begin that process I, I think that would be extremely helpful but I, I also want to reiterate I think uh, that we we need to look at uh, other other tools and that you may have as secretary because in, as you know this legislative process isn't always a real quick process and a lot of these farmers don't don't have six months or a year for us to, to, to work out since these issues they, they need for some kind of response on a, on a but, immediate basis really that, that's why having the CCC flexibility would be helpful because that's something we could use fairly quickly. I would say, uh, in response to the, uh, the chairman's comments about why we have that, fair enough, but I'm not going to be around. So why tie the hands of the next secretary? Why not give the next secretary the benefit of the doubt? Uh, or place restrictions on it so that it's used primarily for the things you want it to be used for, but a blanket 
prohibition makes it really hard to do this job in light of falling commodity prices. My time has expired, Mr. Chairman.